This picket line outside the Royal Victoria Infirmary in Newcastle was one of countless across England on Monday, as tens of thousands of nurses and ambulance staff took part in the biggest walkout in the 75-year history of the NHS. The tiredness and just the, um, the morale is so low now on the wards. It's, it's, you can see why people are leaving. It is a graduate profession. It should be paid as such. We are never going to attract people. We're not going to retain people if we don't pay an actual livable wage. And that is just not happening at the moment. They're demanding a pay rise to deal with the worst inflation in the UK in four decades. The government says this would be unaffordable and cause yet higher prices and, as a result, higher interest rates. We are working constructively with the trade unions in terms of what cover they can provide within the context of the strikes and then putting in place contingency measures with NHSE colleagues in terms of those areas where there's gaps. More walkouts are planned over the coming days. It's part of a wave of industrial action across the country. Hundreds of thousands of public sector workers have taken part in strikes since last summer, with half a million walking out last week alone. In Scotland and Wales, strikes have been suspended while authorities and unions negotiate. In England, neither side is relenting. <laughs>